Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and today I want to talk about Chainlink, it's been a while, um, but Chainlink is definitely uh, uh, been doing good, it's up 500% since January last year, so in only 12 months that's actually some very good gains, but um, Chainlink is actually the market leading oracle in terms of authenticity and privacy for data, so we might as well take a look at it and um, a lot of people have some high expectations for this so uh, i'm just going to give you my take on Chainlink right now um it does look like a very good chart and it does still look kind of bullish to me in my opinion as you can see we've had this consistent volume going along and no one can really argue with Chainlink in terms of you know where it is in the cryptocurrency space it's definitely a big player in the game now we see this previous top of around 20 dollars Okay, a lot of people are talking uh, about whether this is going to go back to $20, breach $20. Some people are looking at $100, and some have even gone as far as to say that Chainlink can reach $1,000. Um, so $500 won't be a um, kind of too crazy of a prediction. Okay, although I'm not making a prediction, I'm just saying, you know, um, I won't be surprised if we did see a Chainlink that high, and that's being conservative if you kind of half it from the 1000 price point to the 500 price point uh, that would actually be um, significant gains from here so you can see this curved pattern all right this curving rounding bottom okay um as a whole and not only that it does look like a nice w pattern and also it is putting in a higher highs and higher lows all right let's just mark those out so we've got a higher high here um, if we're looking at over here, we've got a higher high and a higher low. All right, we've got another higher high and another higher low so far. So it is moving upwards, but on the larger scale, of course, um, we have this local top, and right now this is still a lower high until it breaks the twenty dollar level. Will it do it? I probably think that it will. All right, especially if it continues on this trajectory right here. Um, we can see that this is the W pattern that we talked about, okay, and also we have this rounding bottom as a whole. All right, in my opinion, this looks like it could be ready for another move to the upside, and I wouldn't blame you if you did buy Chainlink at this price point on this dip over here. We've got this long wick over here. Uh, that's getting bought back up it does look like it could still continue to the downside but as long as it uh, maintains above this level above the uh ten dollar level ten eleven dollars we're looking good for chain link if we get our horizontal line out you can see that this is the ultimate area around seven dollars or let's just go with this level right here around six dollars and ninety cents that we wouldn't want to see it break okay but if we move this up and we look at this level over here if we go to the bottom of that wick and we look at this level over here okay roughly all right it does look like more or less okay let's go to here so more or less side sideways right sideways action within this range another thing that i want to look at is the fibonacci retracement okay so if we go from the top and we bring it down if we go to the very bottom okay you can see that it has been bouncing around on uh, 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 this level right here at the point 382 okay obviously it went slightly under right there uh, but it has uh, wicked as well back down to that level so we've got one two three and then it's moved to the upside so that looks bullish even if we go the other way around and we go from the bottom to the top right over here you can see that that point three eight two level um, actually translates as the 0.618 level going in the opposite direction and it didn't come down to this 0.786 level which to me is longer term bullish because if it did come down here i would expect like a, a, a bounce and move upwards and then a longer downward trend okay but because it's come down to the 0.618 level that would suggest to me that this move is far from finished yet and there could be a lot more upside for chain link especially if it holds this level at the 0.5 and if it can maintain strength above this 0.382 level in the opposite direction then that to me looks like it could be uh, extremely bullish moving forward okay if we get out some of our indicators 
So the RSI um, is not looking too shabby. Okay, uh, it would be nice if we can hold this level and continue uh, some upward movement just at least until we get this break and then we can get it cool off and come back for the pullback back down to around this level and maybe some more upside after that. Okay, and we have it does look like the, the MACD is curling around to potentially put in a bearish cross, but it wouldn't be out of the ordinary at this type of price action for this to bounce off this line and then kind of continue to the upside. All right, so for me, chain link on the uh, on a higher time frame is still looking bullish. Of course, you can see the momentum is up pretty high in terms of this action over here. Last time we saw it get as high as that. Okay, so if the momentum can push up on the MACD, uh, we could definitely see a break of the twenty dollar level potentially, and we would need to see it hold strength above that level back into price discovery, and that would be extremely bullish. Okay, so chain link. Um, with a lot of new people coming into crypto, they might not know what Chainlink is yet. So there's still a lot of discovery to be had in Chainlink. But in terms of institutional investors, I would say that this is the most sought after, um, along with Ethereum and Bitcoin. We've got Chainlink up there. I think it's sitting around number 10 or something like that. In fact, let's just go and check. Uh, right now on coin market cap chain link is sitting at number 10 it's up seven seven percent or just under eight percent on a day i just noticed that stella is actually up 23 percent today so that's looking good ethereum's holding that level okay this 1100 level will there be more of a pullback for ethereum i'm not sure i'm not sure but i am holding uh quite a bit of ethereum okay but let's just move on i wanted to talk about grt the graph because this is one i made a few videos about when it first came out it literally launched on coinbase um binance um i, I think qcoin like all the top tier exchanges it just came out of nowhere and it had this massive move to the upside when it first came out and i was extremely bullish on this um, i'll be honest with you i'm not holding any grt at the moment but I am considering getting back in. I would have liked to have seen it hold this level, okay? But now it's fallen below that level. We need to see, you know, um, some some solid support. And obviously, it's very early. The chart's not giving you much to work with in terms of support and resistance. So we have to wait for this chart to mature. And then we can know exactly where it's going. But, you know, in terms of, you know, uh, scalability and what it actually does, it does seem like a very valid player in the space for a new project. Probably the most exciting new project that I've seen in the last couple of months, okay? Um, aside from WISE, okay? Obviously, WISE being my number one in terms of excitement, all right? Now, the graph is is basically a... Um, it's, it's, it's an indexing protocol, that's it, I'm forgetting. It's an indexing protocol for querying networks like Ethereum, IPS, and stuff like that. So it's basically another data uh, another data platform, okay? Uh, sort of like Chainlink, but not quite, all right? So it says that subgraphs can be composed into a global graph of all the world's public information. This data can be transformed, organized, and shared across applications for anyone to query with just a few keystrokes. For developers... This is definitely a good project. I could see a lot of people buying into this. Um, data is a very massive thing. And let's not forget about Web3. Okay, so Web3 is setting itself up to go very far. And 2021 um, could be a, a good year for the graph if it can continue uh, the momentum that it started with. Of course, you know, um, you know, the higher they rise, the faster they fall sometimes. All right, but with the graph, it went up crazy. Of course, started at around... Five cents and reached a peak of around 77 cents and of course now it's down to 28 cents with a local low of 23 cents okay so for me i'll need to see you know um, just a little bit more price action on the graph before i can get back bullish on this uh, but in, t in terms of long-term uh, possibilities yes i believe it's bullish short term uh, we'll have to wait and see OK, so I just want to do a quick video about chain link and the graph because these I think are on similar levels. Um, obviously, well, it's a bit of an overstatement to say that GRT or the graph is on a similar level to chain link. Um, what I mean is it's on a similar level in terms of when chain link first came out. Uh, that's probably what got people excited about it. And we see we've seen the adoption come from chain link. Of course, it's been integrated with more than 300 projects 
already. So um, that's really all I've got for you for now. All right, I believe that Chainlink is bullish. I believe that it's going to see more upside. Of course, we've seen a pullback across the market. So it's no surprise that we see Chainlink pulling back as well. Uh, we've also seen these massive dips being bought up before the move to the upside. And like I said, we're seeing higher highs and higher lows and higher highs and higher lows. Uh, but until it breaks this level, it's still a higher low over here. Uh, sorry, it's still a lower high over here. So until it breaks this level, it's a waiting game. All right, guys, so that's about it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you guys in the next video.